Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do, and that is to take scraps from old projects, any kind of scrap you want, and make a big piece of fabric out of it. Here's a big purple one I made a couple years ago. I absolutely love doing this. It's a great way to use up scraps from old projects. I usually make them in one color wave, and I'll show you some more later, um, but you could make them multicolored, whatever you want to do. Um, but it's just a terrific uh, project, and it, it, you can use it in quilts, in toy making, whatever you want to do with it. So here we go. You're going to need scraps. And after quilting for 30 years, I have a lot of scraps. So I pulled out all these sort of medium greens that I like. Any pattern, any shape, any size. I should clarify any size. You don't want them too big because you like the, or I would like the, the crazy quilt look of the, 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 the fabric. I would say maximum maybe six or seven inches because you like these longer pieces when the, when the, when your pairs and your, uh, when your pairs are getting larger, you want to have a long piece you can put on a side. Um, you want all shapes and sizes though because one of them is going to fit in. None of the, no, no two uh, blocks of these are going to be the same as you'll see soon. So anyway, you're going to take your scraps and you're going to start pairing them up. And I already did that with some just to make it quicker. I mean this, this one's an inch and a half wide, this one's even smaller. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew together two fabrics. My only rule is that it's not the same fabric. I like that different, sort of that mixed up look. Okay, and you're just gonna go down. Get set up here. All right, and you're gonna keep going. I'm gonna do a few of these. It does not matter if they're not perfect. I'm pairing these two up, but you'll see there's like a half inch overhang. That gets cut away later, so don't worry about it. See, these are leftover cuts, it doesn't matter. It also, you don't even need a perfect uh, quarter inch seam for this. I'll do one more. all those apart and you're going to press them open and I've done that already with some earlier. You can see all shapes and sizes. You're going to want to start trimming them up because you're going to sew them together again. So let's see, maybe these, I don't like those two. Maybe we could, you try to match them up as best as possible. Like here, we could do these two together. So you want to make sure the ends or the edge of your fabric is nice and straight. These are actually not too bad so I don't even think I need to cut those. Um, this one, for example, you'd want to trim off and make one even edge, and we can do that in a second. So here are these two pairs. So let's show you how to even those up a little bit. Take your rotary cutter, um, you can twist on the diagonal, you know, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But you want to make that one nice even line. That's the beauty of this project is it's almost like coloring, like kid coloring with crayons again. And then sew those two together. And one thing, I do not even try to match up those seams. This is all just however you want to do it. Um, there's no seam matching, only match up the edge. Okay. Part of the reason I think I like this project so much is I'm it's almost like I'm breaking those unwritten quilter rules, and uh, I like to do that. 
So there you go. Again, there's no seam. The only thing that matches up are those two edges. You would press those open. And then you're going to have more pieces. Here's two that I did earlier. Um, and you can see I've done, there's four pieces of fabric in each. Now these don't match up quite like I want them to. What I might do is add a piece to this one. So let's see what I can find. There we go. We'll just add these two together. And again, those edges are pretty nice and straight. Um, if I was to add it to this, which maybe I'll go ahead and use, you would just straighten that out with a ruler and a rotary cutter. Go ahead and sew that. Okay, press it open at the ironing board. I'm just gonna do finger press here today time and then I would sew these two sides together so let's even out those edges so you can see that one's really rough and we'll do those two so we'll pieces of fabric in there nice little piece little patch there and you're just gonna keep adding and adding and adding until you have bigger pieces I really like the way that's looking uh, let me show you some other ones I've done I, here's that dark purple one I did um, I love that look it's like a little bit like a crazy quilt um, here's a paler purple it's pretty too I did a navy one A red one and last but not least I've done a peach one I mean you can sort of you get the idea from all these different ones but it shows you there really are you know you can do you could add red in here you could add yellow whatever you want to do and here's a green piece that I finished it's a much bigger piece you can see how big they can get bigger than this this one has a few bigger patches in it and some things I've made with them I made this Great little kitty cat for my daughter once. Um, you can see all the patchwork and that was just made out of these scrap, scraps of fabric that I had. Um, and then I just recently, it took me like three hours, it didn't take me long, I made this quilt top. And I really like the way this turned out. It's just sort of lemon yellow, simple, and just made out of scrap fabrics that I made, just made out of patches of scrap fabric that I made from all my small scraps from projects all done over many years. So thanks for watching and I hope you get a chance to do this project.